Hey everyone, it's NJ here and today I'm sharing with you one of my favorite recipes which is beef stew with drop biscuits. It's part of the Cracktober um, series set up by YouTube Mommy Meetup so definitely click on the playlist below. I'll leave it down there so click on that and check out some of the other um, videos and great recipes for your crock pot. This recipe I actually hold very dear to my heart. Um, it has special meaning to me. If you don't know, I've I lost my mom in a horrible car crash when I was 26 and it was really before I had a family family I guess and I really didn't know how to cook much or anything like that but this is one recipe that she always made when we came home from college and then we always had it during Christmas time and it happens to be a recipe when I was dating my husband. I had been dating him for a few months and I asked my mom, how do you make that recipe when I was going to cook for him for the first time? And I called her up like every 10 minutes asking her instructions on how to do things and directions on how to cut a potato <laughs> because seriously, I did not know how to do these things. <laughs> um, so she always made it just in her oven, but I've kind of added a variation and I cook it all day in the crock pot. And then I transfer it to a baking dish to do the drop biscuits on top. And the drop biscuits really are what makes it fabulous and delicious. Okay, let's talk ingredients. Extremely simple ingredients. Really just one, two, three. Six ingredients plus water would be the seventh ingredient if you want to count that. So all you need are some potatoes. I think I'm going to end up using around five potatoes. Um, I'll let you know if it ends up being a little bit more. Um, I buy this kind of beef gravy. You can get all different kinds of gravy that you prefer or like. This is one Samaya can have because it doesn't have any um, milk product, dairy product, or anything in it. So she can have that kind. Um, carrots. I just use these little baby cut up carrots. But of course, cut up regular carrots if you prefer that way. That's fine as well. And then I buy a beef stew seasoning mix. I've used all different kinds of seasoning mix. And I've also just used seasonings myself. Throw in some pepper, some salt. And honestly, just pepper and salt, you would be just fine like that. Or other seasonings, if you have onion powder or anything that you prefer, throw it on in with the crock pot. And then um, I buy boneless beef stew meat. And I usually get two of these containers. Each one is a little bit under a pound. So a little bit less than two pounds I use. You can really make this recipe with just one pound, like one package of the beef stew meat. Um, would work fine. I transfer it into a larger baking dish for in the oven and I prefer having the two packages. And then some Bisquick um, mix that we will use for drop biscuits. So this recipe, you guys, I just throw everything in the crock pot um, and I'm using one of these fabulous liners. I've only used it one other time. Um, but I'm going to try and see if this works out a little bit better because I will be transferring the finished product from my crock pot. I transfer it into a um, different baking dish and then I do the drop biscuits on top and throw that in the oven just to finish off. Sorry, that was Diesel with the broom. Oh my God. <laughs> finish off the drop biscuits in the oven. So that is one process that's not going to be in the crock pot, but it is super easy and super quick to do. And that's kind of what makes the dish having those biscuits on top of the beef stew. So I will show you once I get everything in the crock pot how it looks. I'm going to go ahead and peel the potatoes and get them cut up and in the crock pot. Okay, I got Miss Samara here to help me with Hi our, crock <laughs> our crock pot meal. Um, one thing nice about crock pots, it's awesome for kids to be able to help because it's easy to assemble. Hopefully without many faces. All right, so first she's gonna go ahead and put the seasoning mix in. You can just go ahead and put it on top of the meat. I put all the meat in there so that she wouldn't have to do that. God, this is hard to do this. Yep, there's something out. There you go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> all right, perfect. That's good. And then put the potatoes in on top of that. Yep, just grab it by handfuls. Now, five, I did five potatoes, which is quite a bit. Um, so you could definitely do a little bit less. Of course, you can do onions or any other vegetables that you like in your beef stew. We usually just do this might, carrots, potatoes. This might take a while, guys. We usually do carrots and potatoes oh my gosh. for our vegetables. This is gonna take a lot of time. Yep, you got it. Good job. These are slippery little suckers. <laughs> 
Why are you putting mashed potatoes on the seasoning? No, that it's alright. The seasoning good? will just mix with everything. Does yeah. Taste good. Yeah, we've never used this particular seasoning, but it oh, will be this. good. All right, and then we'll put some carrots in. Oh, we lost a potato, but that's alright. Just put oh, it in the sink. Don't. It. That's okay. <laughs> the dog ate it, I guess. All right, and then we're gonna put some carrots in, which. No one in the family really likes but mommy. I like carrots with dip though. Yeah, she likes carrots with dip. I think that's how I was with and the kid I too. And I think this is a healthy snack for kids or dinner. <laughs> yeah, a healthy dinner. Oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good hey, job. Yep. I'm gonna be the only one. You're gonna be the only one putting stuff in? Yeah. Okay. No healthies. I just, ah. Uh. <laughs> what happened? Water from the camp spray. Water in the eye. Water in the eye. All right. Good job. You. Oh yeah, we'll keep that one out. All right, and then we just dump the gravy, jars of gravy in. More. Both of them. <laughs> it's like a, I don't want to. Oh, gravy's everywhere. <laughs> kind of looks like cookie dough to me. I feel like everything looks like cookie dough. The girl likes cookie dough. Now we are going to put this cup in. Good job. Good job in there. Alright, and then we're going to fill both of the jars up with water and put water in. And then we're going to get water so it's like right at the level of all the stuff in here. Um, so we want a liquid as high up as the carrots and the just everything in here so water at the level of all the stuff <laughs> now we're gonna dump the water in okay this jar of water okay. there you go perfect Good job, Amara. Thanks for helping. Bye, guys. Thumbs up and subscribe. I hope you like this meal. Okay, I'm going to be cooking this on high. Um, you, of course, can do it on low, which is probably the better way to do it, and have it cook all day. Um, but I just have a few hours that I want it to cook for, so I'm going to do it on high. And then you know it's done when you test the potatoes and carrots, like any beef stew, and see if they're done. So we're going to go ahead and leave this alone for a few hours, and that's the wonderful thing about crock pot meals and then I'll show you how I finish it off okay you guys I tested um, the potatoes and carrots and everything everything's pretty much done it's when you take a knife to it it is nice and tender and perfect when you prick a uh, knife into the carrots and potatoes and everything and I mixed up my drop biscuits I mix it with just water um, of course you can use milk if you'd like that is all right, too. I have my oven preheating at 450, and then I'm going to go ahead and spoon these onto um, the beef stew mixture and then pop in the oven until the biscuits are all done, and then take it out, and it'll be all done at that point. I just use a spoon like this, and I just ladle it out from the crock pot into a baking dish. You can use, I've used like glass ba baking dishes in the past. Um, I have this one. Um, that I usually use um, when I'm making it, but any of those glass kind or any kind of baking dish that you can put it into would be perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and get the biscuits on top and get them in the oven. It's bubbling away, you guys. I just pulled it out of the oven just to finish off the biscuits. So everything was done in the crock pot except for just the drop biscuits. You just put on top, you spoon them on top, put it in the oven for the, I think the directions say around 10 to 15 minutes. And then once they get this brown color on top of the biscuits, that's how you know that they're done. And they're so delicious, you guys. <laughs> All the gravy and the sauce and stuff soaks up in the biscuits, and that is what makes it so fabulous and delicious. It is definitely a favorite of my family's and my extended family's. Um, and like I said, it is the main dish that we serve on Christmas. Um, it's a tradition in my family. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Please check out the other Cracktober recipes um, and check out that playlist down below. Go ahead and click on it and you will find all sorts of fabulous recipes by all the other YouTube creators 
that are part of YouTube Mommy Meetup. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Hit thumbs up, hit subscribe. Bye.